Hey everyone, so in today's video, I have my makeup bag here that I'm taking with me on a trip to Montreal. And actually, like I really gotta get this video done because my ride is about to be here. So this is literally the bag I'm about to throw into my suitcase, but I wanted to share with you all the makeup that I'm bringing because I think it's a really good reflection of not only the makeup that I've really been enjoying and loving and um, that I can really depend on because that's usually the kind of makeup that I take with me traveling. But I think it's also a good representation of just the kind of style mood that I've been in. So this is, yeah, it's a really up-to-date reflection of what's been going on in my makeup world. And if you happen to really enjoy the kind of style of makeup I do, if you enjoy the way I describe these products and you know my formulation preferences, then I would love to have you back. So make sure to subscribe. And by the way, if you're interested in this makeup look, it is the most recent video that I did. I did a video where I tried on like a bunch of bougie makeup and one of those items actually ended up getting transferred over to this bag because I really, really like it. And I'll mention it in a second, but let's go ahead. I'm just, honestly, I'm gonna just dive in with whatever is on top of the bag. Three eye products. Here's the thing with eye makeup in general when I go on trips. I like focusing on quick eye looks that look like they took a lot more time. So I'm gonna give you guys like kind of the nitty gritty on how I do that. First of all, a good one and done shadow that has a lot of dimension is going to be a great ticket to getting an eye look that looks very sophisticated and put together, but actually, you know, didn't take you much time at all. Two of my favorites that have been giving me that look are Bronze Brocade from Colfi. The reason I really love this shadow is the ease of use. The formula is kind of like a, it's more of like a wet cream gel. Um, there's definitely like a, a coolness to the product. It goes onto the eyes so seamlessly and easily, but it blends with very little time and then sets down and lasts really well. Also a shade like this, a shade like Bronze Brocade, it's like a one-way ticket to a very pretty, sophisticated eye look. There's gorgeous, fine sparkle in here that looks very reflective and pretty, but it's not over the top either. So in general, like the perfect kind of day or night eye look in this product, and I've just been really, really loving it. And then Ray from Hourglass has been kind of if you watched my recent like summer makeup video, I also used this. I'll swatch it right next to. So that's Ray. It's way more like wet sparkle vibe. And then Bronze Brocade is right next to it. It just, honestly, I think, I don't think you need both necessarily, but Bronze Brocade is just a little bit deeper and Ray just has a little bit more shine to it. So both are absolutely beautiful and honestly, Pairing these would be insane pretty. Like maybe I'll do that on the trip, add this all over the eyes and then add Ray right on top for like just a little bit of extra impact. I think that would be so pretty. Um, but by the way, the prep product that I feel like I need more people to try on my channel because I can't like overstate how often I use it and how much I love it. It's the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint in Smell Before Rain. It is absolutely beautiful and it is what I use in my crease to make everything last longer. So, you know, a lot of people ask me about base products for eye looks, especially cream shadows. That is the one that I always go back to. So those are three eyeshadows that I am taking. That's gonna get me a quick eye look like that. I'm also taking the Kosas Cloud Set here. This is just one of those powder products that makes any look last a little bit longer, makes the face look a little bit more matte, but not too matte, it's not chalky. The powder is so lightweight and fine. You know, I am not typically a person that recommends powder at all. Like I barely talk about powders on my channel. And in fact, uh, I recently asked you all what you wanted to see me declutter next. Definitely let me know that. But powders, I only have maybe six or seven. So it'd be a really short video if I did that. But anyway, this one would certainly not be being decluttered. It's one of the only powders I recommend to those of you with dry skin or with 
or if you're just someone that finds powder really clings on your skin. Speaking of powders, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer is absolutely stunning. This is the shade Fair. Whenever I talk about affordable makeup that is absolutely beautiful that I reach for over and over and over again, I feel like I always think of this. It is such a fine, thin formula that still has great pigment and great texture to it. Blends effortlessly and just the shade itself is so good. It is not overly orange. It's definitely more neutral to leaning yellow rather than some of these bronzers that just look freaking muddy. Could not recommend it more. Um, I was gonna say, especially if you're on a budget, I mean, obviously a great thing about it is that it is affordable, but I think you guys know, I don't recommend affordable makeup just because it's affordable. That's something that, that I feel pretty passionately about because if we're buying affordable makeup just because it's affordable, for me, it's kind of a waste. I would much rather test a lot of affordable makeup and like get to the nitty gritty of the products that I love and reach for a ton. Like that's what I really like to do on my channel. So yeah, definitely let me know if you wanna see that kind of affordable makeup video upcoming, like another affordable favorites video. I love uh, doing those videos. But speaking of bronzer, I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Cream Bronzer. This is like my favorite cream bronzer of the moment, or I mean, really, I've been talking about it since its launch. This is the shade One Fair. Not only do I love this because the formula is this beautiful kind of satiny, cream bronzer formula, which I'll, some of them are just really, really dewy. So if you're looking for something more satin and skin-like, I think you will love this. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. But it also has this huge mirror, which for travel is really convenient. So absolutely taking this and really can't wait to use it again. For blush, Dior Rosy Glow in Cherry. Now, this is such an insanely beautiful blush. Honestly, you know what? I'm gonna put some on right now. Don't ask me why, I just feel like it because I have not been able to get enough. It just has this immediate brightness to the skin, this pop, it's, it's so good. It's my favorite blush of this summer. So if that tells you anything, it's the color, it's the thinness of the product, the way it just so seamlessly blends into the rest of the skin. It's very softly perfecting. It's also not too much either. Like there's definitely control with it. So I really can't get enough. And um, I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. It's really becoming, you know, a best of beauty contender for this year. By the way, I am taking these, the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Eye Masks. I have a feeling I'll probably be doing my friend's makeup. By the way, I'm going on a bachelorette trip to Montreal. Um, I'm obviously really, really excited, but I think I'm gonna take these um, and maybe another one for myself, but definitely taking one for the bride-to-be. Uh, these are, if you're going on any bachelorette trips, weddings this summer, or in general, you just love a good eye mask, please. Please invest in these. I can't tell you guys enough how good these are. They are 100% worth the investment. Whenever my eyes are very tired, very red, just drained, um, dehydrated, these are so thin and so smooth. They actually stick, to, stick where you put them, but, but they're relatively lightweight. They just get to the contour of the eye so beautifully and instantly depuff. Like the depuffing magic of these, they really deliver. It's not like one of those eye masks where you're like, what did it do? It gave me a little hydration, I guess. It's not like that. They have done an absolutely excellent job with these and I am very excited to treat her to these. So I wanted to make sure I brought at least one for her. I'm gonna go try and find another one for myself because we know how Bachelorette I also have this Sigma Ritzy palette that I've been trying out that I wanted to bring just because the mattes in here are so beautiful and I've been loving doing just like a matte wing on an everyday basis and like this shade over here is oh my gosh like I love 
that brown like just it speaks to me so i've been reaching for that brown a lot but also in general this palette just blends really seamlessly it's very small as well but you get a lot of options so that really makes it a kind of perfect travel uh palette also one of the days of the bachelorette is uh like has a theme something blue obviously wedding so i am bringing the lottie london color cloud in sky blue i think i'm going to do like more of a kind of mod eye look for that day i think that would be fun and i also have the elf cookies and dreams palette um i absolutely love this palette for more baby blue tones and also it's just you have some really nice neutrals in here as well like you can do a neutral eye look just with those you don't have to use the matte baby blue or even like any of the other blues so I'm bringing these two, by the way, I really like the Lottie London um, matte liquid shadows. They're great. So excited about that eye look in particular. Oh, I also have this one from Moira. This is another matte liquid shadow. This is self image. I haven't tried this one out yet. Um, so I'm excited to potentially use this one or I might go with the other one. Well, We'll figure it out. I wanted to bring both. I'm also bringing the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of the best setting sprays out on the market. I actually don't have any on right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray. Locks everything in without you sitting there and being like, whoa, my makeup looks extremely matte and chalky now, which some do that. I, I do think it's worth the cash really adds that extra layer of assurance to the makeup. It's very, very good. For concealer, I have two. I have the Kosas Revealer, um, obviously, favorite concealer, so I have to bring it. And then I also have the one from Say. This is more of like a brightening shade that I wanted to bring, just in case I wanna do a little bit of highlighting or, I don't know, go a little bit more glam. Speaking of, speaking of, I was, this close to not bringing a single foundation in my makeup bag. What is wrong with me, guys? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I don't have too much time to think about it. So I'm gonna bring the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is the shade two. It's just that perfect kind of perfected um, makeup look. It just has this silkiness on the skin. It's great for an everyday makeup look, but you can build it up and get more of that perfected um, base as well. So it's just very versatile. Um, and if I don't bring this, then I'll bring the Kogano Aqua, which is, um, again, one of my Holy Grail foundations. That's the one I'm wearing today. And it honestly is like the perfect kind of wedding makeup, um, or just that kind of Holy Grail, um, foundation product for me. It's very expensive, but Anyway, recently was talking a lot about it, but I'll leave a link to it down below. Rose Blur from Charlotte Tilbury is the lip that I'm wearing today. And it is the one that I think I'm gonna be wearing a lot. I think it's just so, so feminine. Um, and I just can't, I can't wait to wear it more. The formula is also, it has this nice matte blurring formula. It's not um, transfer proof, but it's very comfortable. Uh, so I'm really excited to keep using it. Now, this is just kind of a side note. I'm bringing the Dior Nail Glow because my nails are in, I don't know how I'm gonna get to do them, but I need to. Also, this nail, I cut with a knife. Like, luckily it didn't go too much into my finger, but I cut like the whole nail off, at least this whole corner of it. So we're gonna have to do some shaping, but this is my favorite. Uh, nail polish for just that like next to nothing nail, you know, that kind of very soft uh, French manicure kind of vibe, which we are definitely going for in Montreal. So I'm really, really excited about this. Um, I always keep it in the box because that helps to preserve the color. And in general, I think there are a lot of nail products that try to dupe this and this is still the best that I've tried. So I do recommend it. I think it's beautiful. And I think that'll be fun too. If like anyone hasn't done their nails, I can like quickly do everyone's nails. I think that would be cute. Okay, more odds and ends. I have a kind of dirty sponge and I'm gonna bring, that's the AOA Papa sponge. I get those on Amazon um, and I go through them like, I don't know, like they're candy. I always have a lot of them. So I'll leave these down below. Um, they're very affordable, but they're so squishy and plush and they last really well too. I have the Roman Hand All Brow Fixer. This has been my brow gel of choice. It's not overly white casty in the brows. It really holds them, but it's not one of those gels that feels 
too wet or like looks too wet in the brow. So I've been really, really liking this. It's also just great packaging. Um, this kind of squeeze tube packaging. And I also like that it's a little bit wider up here at the top because I feel like sometimes I can't find my brow products because they're all like so small. So really like that one. I'm also going to bring the Westman Atelier Bonnie Brow as well. That's what I'm wearing in my brows today. Love this brow pencil. And then I think I'm also going to bring um, Medium Brown from Natasha, not Natasha Denona, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've worn Medium Brown for a long time. I think you guys know, I've talked about this before, but my hair color is not the same color as my brow color. I don't dye my hair. It's just like, I don't know. That's just the way of my my bodily world. <laughs> Couldn't describe that better, but anyway, so medium brown typically is like matches the natural brow hair color pretty well. Now another blush, uh, the Hydromaniac blush from uh, Urban Decay and Obsessed is very, very good. If you want uh, more of a blush stain and kind of like a watercolor gel cream format, it's so easy to blend. It really, you know, it has this kind of juicy translucence that looks so pretty with summery makeup. So I'm bringing this just because if I want to go for like that pretty stained kind of no makeup makeup look, this is going to get me there so fast. It lasts really well too. So for me, it's kind of like a, that's like a no brainer product. I'm also going to bring Victoria Beckham, the lipstick in fringe. One of the theme nights is like new wave goth. And I thought that that would be gorgeous, right? For that vibe. I don't know, I'm really excited about it. So I'm definitely bringing this. I think it's gonna be a hit. I haven't worn it yet actually. So taking a little bit of a gamble on that one. I'm also bringing the Victoria Beckham uh, lip liner in 04. I don't know, there's gotta be a name, but that's a good pairing right there. So I'm gonna bring the lip liner as well. And for Hourglass, this has been like my lip of choice this summer. I've talked a lot about it on my channel already, so I'm not gonna stick here for too long, but it's lucid. It's just the perfect coral. Um, it just brightens up a whole look. It brightens up the face so prettily. You could just do a skin tint, a little bit of bronzer, lucid on the lips, maybe curl your lashes and you're, it's just like such a pretty fresh, feminine look that I am really excited to do, especially on like quick kind of outings. I have a bunch of um, BK Beauty brushes because they're the absolute best. I have the Victoria Beckham Cocoa Liner, which is always great. Just to add a little bit of smoke to everything. Um, another Roman product, I have one of their lipsticks in the shade 03. I'll leave it down below because I forget the name of this lipstick, but it is such that, like, it's just such a perfect red, like summertime pretty red. It's not, there's definitely more of a rosiness to it, which looks really good on me. So um, that's why I decided to choose it. It's like very romantic. Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. You guys know the drill. I have a Palladio a lip stain uh, that I use as like a liner to overline. I'll leave a link to this down below because it's more of, you can see the shade there. It's like such a pretty kind of soft contour shade. And because it's a lip stain, you can't really tell where it starts and stops. Very good. I'll Again, I'll leave that one down below because I think you guys will really like that. Hair scrunchies that I'm gonna desperately need as well as a trimmer because because you can't have a fuzzy eyebrow without also getting a fuzzy upper lip. So those are all of the products that I'm bringing with me on my little trip to Montreal. Definitely make sure you guys are following me over on Instagram if you wanna like just check out what I'm doing up there and make sure you're subscribed if you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you guys again so much for being here and I will see you on my next one.